I want to thank Jay Hunter from OSW Review. By the way, I love OSW Review. They can't make those things fast enough. I've watched a couple of them several times. But anyway, he tweeted out something a few minutes ago, and it, it reminded me of, about something I wanted to make a video about that I kind of just like forgot about, and that is the topic of conventions and going to like a fan convention any sort of convention where you you pay to go in and see celebrities like be it like Star Trek Star Wars stuff of that nature and the rates people charge once you get in the doors and they charge you for frivolous things well anyways uh, Jay Hunter of OSW Review he posted something about uh, a former WWE diva, actually, I don't even think she was around before they started using the term divas. Uh, she's out of the company by then getting coked up. But anyway, Tammy Lynn Sitch, a.k.a. Sunny, you may know her from her WWF days. She is making a very special appearance at a convention in Monroe, New Jersey. And let me just put it on the screen here. Hey, Sunny fans, this is your chance to get under the covers with me at the Legends of the Ring convention 10513. I will be offering special photo ops. Your choice for $50, you get to have your photo taken laying next to me in bed. Mm. And for $75, you can have your photo taken spooning or with me lying my head on your chest. Was I your teenage crush? Now is your chance to make that dream a reality. Pre-sale tickets will be offered soon. And yes, I will be wearing a little item from my lingerie drawer. <laughs> oh, you are a whore. You're a filthy, money-grubbing whore. I know you You had this great fall from grace, and, and I'll admit, yeah, you were my quote-unquote teenage crush, even though I was well past my teenage years when you started appearing on WWF television. But I was a fan of this girl, not this girl. <laughs> Yikes. All right, now, don't, don't get me wrong. You're a very beautiful woman. I, I, I'm not knocking you at all. But here's the thing, like, you're trying to tell, sell people on this whole, like, was, was I your teenage crush? Uh, yeah, you were a lot of people's teenage crush 15 years ago. But all that aside, this just speaks volumes of the shit that these... I, I don't even know if you want to call someone like this still a celebrity because they haven't been relevant in, like I said, almost 15 years now. But this is like the type of shit that you see at conventions, at fan conventions, where you pay to get entry, the promoter or whoever puts the convention together together pays the people to come to the convention. Now, not all times. They sometimes the people pay to get a booth or something like that. But for someone like this, someone who's in who is, is an actual draw, be it might not be much of any of a draw, but the point being, the majority of the time, these people are paid to, to appear at these things. All right. Now, I have no problem. If they want to sell their merchandise, they have a DVD, a t-shirt, whatever. I'm not saying they should just, oh, I'll give it out to the fans for free or whatever. But when it gets to the point where someone's going to charge you $75 to spoon with a celebrity from 15 years ago, one who's been coked up more times than I... Okay, I, I won't even get into the personal shit. I just... I, I don't... I, just, I want to talk to the people that, that pay for this shit. Like, how do you in good conscience, you know, pay for this? Like, I, I, like God forbid I was ever at a convention for anything. I'd be damned if I charged anyone for my autograph or something like that. But this is what goes on all the time at these conventions. I'm just wondering, can someone explain to me how the cost of this, is it all justified? Like, you're going there to meet the person. The person drove out, took a train, a plane, whatever, to see you because they just they just wanted to meet you in real life. And you're going to charge them to, like, to get their autograph or get their picture taken with them? I just, I don't get it. It just makes no sense to me. No sense. And now it's to the point where you can give $75 to this, this has-been and... 
and spoon with her. Who does this shit? Who? <laughs> oh, I just, I, I see shit like this and I'm like, is this really what the world has come to? Is this, is this is what, this is what's really happening. Like, this is reality. This isn't, this isn't like a, a, a very late April Fool's joke. Like, she's serious about this. Oh, look, there's that, there's that celebrity I've always wanted to meet. Oh, oh, $25 to wait in this line to, to, to get him to sign a paper. But I'm a, I'm a fan of his. I enjoy his work. I just want to say, you know, I, I appreciate the work he or she does. Oh, I, 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 I still have to get, I still have to pay money to do that. I don't get it. I don't get it. Fans drive out, they show up in the thousands, they cosplay dressed in like their favorite characters from a TV show or a movie or what have you. Pay admission, pay cost of getting there, want to get an autograph, want to get your celebrity to go like this for under two seconds. It'll cost you $25 or above. I just... To any of you out there that have done this, did you did you feel a little dirty after you did it? Now, I'm not knocking you. I mean, you could spend your money however you want. Who am I to tell you how to spend $25 or in this case, $75, you know, spooning up against some 40 plus year old has been celebrity from years ago. Oh. Do you feel dirty after you do something like this? Because I know someone out there had to have went to one of these conventions and paid to have someone's autograph or picture taken. and. I, I don't know. I just, it just in my mind, I just, I, I can never justify the cost of paying an additional fee to meet a celebrity that I already went out of my way to go to a convention hall of some sort to see, pay admission, and then have to ha have to pay to get an autograph. This would be like going to a baseball game or any sporting event, going to like batting practice or just the warm-ups before the game. Sometimes the athlete will come to the sidelines and sign autographs. That That's like that athlete going, all right, guys, I'm going to sign autographs to anyone in the first row who's willing to pay 50 bucks. All right, let's make this quick because, you know, I got to finish my stretch and I'd be like, huh, eat a dick. Anyway. Just some ridiculous shit, and thank you again to Jay Hunter for OS from OSW Review for for posting this on Twitter because this is something that I meant to make a long time ago. And by the way, OSW Review is awesome. Check it out if you're a fan of wrestling. If you're not, you probably won't like it at all. That is all.